It will be a challenge, um, but it will be fun along the way. It is going to be a very, very unique and very, very special car. Oh, it's massive. Uh, really excited for this one. Obviously, it's going to be a lot different to any of the other builds that I've done. Working with a, a global brand, producing a, you know, a one-off car like this is, um, is a massive opportunity for GBS. Motul, one of the global partners and global leaders of the lubricant industry, um, are, are going to be part of every single bit of this, of this finished build. Everything that we can customise on this one will be customised. It's going to look fantastic. All the oils used in the manufacture of the car, in the shock absorbers, in the brake fluid, in the engine, everything's all from Motul. Um, so the car is Motul made. Motul itself isn't just about uh, engine oil. We're a, we're a lubricants manufacturer and we, we, we cast, drill and fill. Every part of this car from the making of it, from the casting is using Motul lubricants, the drilling process and the componentry is Motul lubricants and finally once the engine is built, Motul lubricants are going into the engines. Everything is designed, designed in-house, um, right from initial concept, sketches, through to the CAD, then onto the machines. Um, then from the machining side, we do all our own chassis, sort of raw lengths of um, steel tube, sheet metal, whether that be steel or aluminium. That's all profile cut, folded. All the box section and tubing, the chassis are all, all cut. So then it goes into the jig to form the, the chassis structure, um, which is all then powder coated. Then all the aluminium um, traditional bodywork goes on which is all bonded to the chassis. Then we also make our own shock absorbers for the car, uh, brake calipers, front hubs, um, sumps on the engines, fuel caps, uh, numerous other little machine components um, that all just add to the overall vehicle. The machines are exceptionally high tech but they're nothing without the correct lubricant. Using the correct cutting fluid within the machine, the efficiency, the finished product is second to none. The actual fluids that we use in engineering the car um, are key to it, whether that is cutting the raw steel, whether that be the box section or the tube or the tube that goes into the exhaust, um, we use a, a cutting fluid which is key. And the quality of an oil in an engine has all the difference to how that engine performs and when it comes to racing we're talking temps and if an engine can help deliver that temps on second to, it's a difference between winning a championship for your average go and road car. Again, it's massively important for fuel efficiencies, uh, lifetime of the engine. British F4 came to Neil Brown's maybe four years ago because they were seeing a lot of differences in the parity of the performance of the engine. We see a lot of heat soak in the engines. Um, this will break down and degrade the oil. And fortunately, the Motul 300V, um, through some longevity testing that we had done on the dyno cells and with some race teams, we could see there was a, uh, a drop off in temperatures um, from the 300V range. So it made good sense to, to go down that road. So we knew that we wouldn't be you know, degrading the oil, seeing molecules spliced, which would have an effect on you know, the bearings of the engine, the longevity of the engine, and ultimately the performance. 300V range is our, our competition oil specs, which has been developed on the racetrack with race cars and different engines disciplines over a, a sustained period of time um, and has become one of the most recognisable uh, motorsport oils for, for competitors to use. Formula 4, we are the Moglamated uh, lubricant for the series this year and going forward. BTCC, we, we're involved with many engines within the BTC pack, over 80% uh, are either racing with our lubricant or we've actually had it factory fitted uh, or test bedded with it. Um, and all that knowledge and all that interest um, is going to be placed into basically the GPS uh, Motul Zero project. The engine going into the GPS Motul Edition chassis is going to be a Ford Duratec 2.5 litre engine. The engine was chosen because of the synergy with the British F4 Championship. It runs a Ford 1.6 EcoBoost engine, so it made sense to choose an engine from the Ford family of engines as Motul are now the lubricant sponsor and the mandated lubricant for the British F4 Championship. We're posing a bit of a competition to help design the livery of the car, so how that will look. Uh, and then our reveal will be at the Silverstone Classic Show, or the Classic Silverstone Show this year, uh, where we will show the car to, to the public in, in, in press. 
but we're under a tight schedule because this car's got to be finished, ready, um, timed, tested, tracked, make sure it's working. We're on a tight one with this one really. As everything is handmade here, uh, so we'll, we'll make it all on site. Uh, the panels are all fitted by hand. Uh, there's no big machines that will bond the panels on for you. Obviously that's done by hand as well. Um, everything that's bent is done by hand. Uh, all the bonnets, the scuttles, the back panels, all done by hand. So not only have we got to get the car done, we've got to get the car to Silverstone, we've got to get this design done for the, from the competition, and then we've got to get the design wrapped and put into position, ready for, that, ready for that first parade, which is going to be fairly special as well, with 50 cars all related to 300V through the 50 years of, uh, of Motul.